Hey farm hands, Farm Boy Reef here. So on today's episode of Coral Friday, um, I ended up going to my local fish store and picked up a really nice specimen. Um, I asked you guys what you guys would like to see. And a lot of you guys are saying like SPS acros. So today I went and I picked up a really nice acro colony. Um, this colony has got a lot of greens and pinks in it. It's a really amazing uh, piece. So I have it here, it's been acclimating the tank for about an hour and a half now. Remember, when you're acclimating uh, your new corals, you wanna make sure and put a little bit of your tank water in the bag and let it just let it acclimate. You wanna get the temperature and your salinity the same, you know, like 1.025, you know, keep everything the same so you don't shock that coral. So this colony I got, it's a really big size, about the size of my hand. Um, I, might pro I might frag some pieces off this right away and uh, add them in my tank in certain areas because uh, it should look really nice under the radions, get the blues on it. Um, these colonies and these acros, they're a little bit more like, you know, an advanced coral. Um, like for beginners, it's something you guys don't want to get into right away. You want to make sure your tank is really well established. Um, you want to make sure you have pristine uh, water because um, it can be very, uh, very tricky with these corals. Um, they can start to die out on you if you have too, too high of phosphates and nitrates. So I'm going to bring you guys up close and personal. we got to take this coral down to the lab. Um, we're going to coral dip it. Remember, always make sure to coral dip. You don't want to get any flatworms or different other kind of pests in there like pyramid snails, um, aptasia, anything like that that can affect Yeah, you don't want to get pyramid snails when you have those really, you know, like priceless clams in your tank. So let's take this coral down to the lab, guys. Um, we're going to coral dip it, make sure we have no pests. We're going to use the ME coral dip. This stuff works really well. So let's go see if we can get some results on that. And then we'll bring up uh, our specimen here to the main 220-gallon uh, display tank. And we'll get the radions. I'm going to show you where I'm going to place it and why and tell you a little bit about it. All right, so we made it down to the fish lab. We're going to coral dip this coral. So the coral I like to use is the ME uh, Coral Wash Off Dip. This stuff is really great. I use it on all my other episodes. You get a lot of great results. You guys should check that out. Um, so what you need is I got one gallon of water. You got one gallon. I got my famous white bucket. So you need one gallon of water and you need uh, 20 milliliters of uh, the ME, ME uh, Coral Wash Off Dip. So you end up needing four capfuls. So before we get to this, I want to show you guys the colony I got here. So this is the, the acro I got. You guys can see it's a really nice big piece. It's like green, pink. It's got really nice colors in there. I can't wait to see what it's going to be like under the blues. Hopefully it'll pop really nice. But hold, I think I'm going to frag up some of this one and place it around the tank. But let's get the dip going on and see if we have any pest guys. So what we need to do is we need to mix up our coral wash off dip. So let's just give it a shake. So what we need is uh, four capfuls for one gallon of water. So one, two, three, four. So we mix that up. So all we have to do now is just, uh, we're going to just agitate the water. Just mix it up. It's really good. So we got it all mixed up now. All we have to do now is get our colony in here. So. We got our we got our coral, so let's end up putting put them put him right in the dip here. All right, so we got the we got the acro here in the ME coral wash up dip. So I'm gonna bring you guys up close and personal, and we'll see if we right, have. So we got our specimen here. You guys can see the colors on it, and you guys can see a few uh, serpent stars, bristle stars coming off uh, the coral, and there's another one on the other side. And if you if you look really closely, there's actually some uh, crabs in there as well. But I'm gonna check them over and see if they're good crabs. If they're the good uh, like acro crabs, I'm gonna make sure and get them out, clean them up, and put them right back in the colony to look after it. All right, so the coral's been in the, the ME coral wash off dip for 15 minutes. Um, I'm looking, there's a few more uh, little pests coming off. I wanna show you guys one more time after what 15 minutes. It's good to wait the 15 minutes because I got some uh, some bristle worms popping off, some just some little small baby ones. So let's. So check. when it says on the instructions, leave it in for 15 minutes, it's good to do because look, if you guys look there really close, I'll bring you guys in. Some more bristle worms coming off. There's one, two, I think we got two little ones. Oh, there's another one there, three. So three little uh, like baby uh, bristle worms. All right, so our uh, acro has been in there for 15 minutes. We end up, uh, we had three bristle worms, uh, two uh, bristle stars, and a couple crabs come off. So we got a bunch of pests that came off. So all we have to do now, when, you, always, when you're done using your uh, ME coral wash off dip, wash your coral three times, rinse it off with some aquarium water out of your sump, get it all cleaned up. And then right now, I'm gonna clean it. We're gonna take it up to the main display. We're gonna mount it, and I'll tell you a little bit about it. We'll turn the blues down and see if we can get this coral to pop. All right, farm hands, I got the acro all mounted up. I have it mid-level, um, it needs high intense light. Um, I have three uh, radions running with the T5 uh, hybrid system that I built. Um, I like having the T5s, it gives more blue. With the radions, it really colors up nicely, and I find I get a lot of great growth. 
Um, that's one thing with SPS curls, they like the intense light when you're running like the LEDs or T5s or metal halides. I used to run uh, two metal halides over my tank uh, years ago. Um, it was really had a lot of great growth, but the Hydra Bills were a killer. That's why I switched over to the Radions. And I like with the Radions and LEDs that you can program on your phone with the apps with the ReefLink. Definitely a big bonus there as well. Um, what I used to mount this coral tonight, guys, uh, I ended up using some uh, coral, coral glue and I uh, used the, the putty system as well. I like to put the putty around the base, uh, mold it in, put a little, a little bit of glue on the bottom and then glue it in so my, you know, my marine fish don't knock that coral off. With the acros, they really like a random high flow. Um, I find when there's more flow, it, their branches really thicken up and you have like a really nice uh, thick base and they're not spindly. With the acros as well, you try to keep uh, your calcium, your magnesium, um, your strodium, keep them all in check as well and try to keep your water as pristine as possible. I run a, a GFO system on my 220 here all the time. I get a lot of great results. Um, so I get a lot of great growth. So I got this new addition. I'm excited to see what, what it looks like underneath the Radions, guys. So I'm gonna bring you guys up close and personal. Um, I, got my, uh, I got my iPad here. We're gonna open the Reef Link. We're gonna bring you guys in close. We'll see uh, how we turn it down, see if we can get this coral to pop. All right, farm hands. I got my, uh, got my Reef Link open. I got the app open. I got the Mercury's tank. All ready to show you guys. So what we're going to do right now is going to bring you guys up close and personal, show you that acro, and we're going to start turning everything down. We're going to turn our reds down, turn our greens down, turn our cruel whites, and we'll just have the blues at 100%. We'll bring them down and see uh, what we can do to make this uh, acro. All right, farm hands. So there's the acro I got for you guys today. You see how beautiful it's, it, it's, it was looking pink, but now it looks like more of a mint color. So what we're going to do is I got the reef link open. So let's turn our reds right down to zero. Let's turn our greens right down to zero. Let's turn our cool whites right down. So now you guys can see it's really starting to pop there now. Let's turn our blues down a bit. It's very nice. As you guys can see. So let's uh let's go into another uh, preset here. See what we can do. Let's go presets. Let's go uh, color radiance. So you guys can see there's really popping there right now. I have that one on polyfluorescence. Beautiful colors. So that's the acro for this week, guys. Very beautiful color. I think I'm gonna frag this one up a bit and add it around my tank. Get some more colonies going. All right, farm hands. That's the episode of Coral Friday this week. Um, I hope you guys really uh, enjoyed that acro. It's a beautiful addition to the 220 and a patent. Um, hope you guys uh, tune in next week. You never know what coral I'm going to have. So if you could please subscribe, hit the like button. I'll see you next week.